Alright, so this is going to be a, t sorry about that, um, a tutorial on ABHing. Um, <clears throat> ABHing stands for Accelerated Backwards Hopping. It's a glitch in several source games, including Portal 1, uh, Half-Life 2 New Engine, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Um, it's a movement glitch where you can uh, go really fast going backwards well, and forwards, but we'll get into that a little later. So let me just get to my ABHing spot. The enrichment center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Okay. Um, so ABHing works because the source engine is really, really just stupid. That's all I have to it. Pretty much, like, it, the way it handles, like, slowing you down is, like, really, really dumb. Um, but anyways. So, <clears throat> the way you want to do it is hold forward, jump, crouch, turn 180 degrees, and then continuously jump. Um, so I'm going to go a little slower. Um, hold forward. Or you can do backwards, but that's more advanced. Um, for, for the sake of this, we're going to hold forward and jump. So just practice that. Forward, jump. And it's important to note that uh, when you're holding forward and then you jump, let go of W right after you jump. Like that. And then right after you jump, hold crouch. So do exactly what I'm doing. And you can see my scrolls and my inputs on the bottom right. So like this. After you get good at that, um, you want to turn 180 degrees. Like this. It doesn't have to be exactly 180, but that's optimal. So once again, you're holding forward, jumping, crouching, turning around. And remember, please, please remember let go of your W and S key. You can use your strafe keys, A and D, and we'll get into that a little later. Um, after you do that, you want to jump right when you're about to land, but do not continuously scroll like this. This is what you're not supposed to do. As you can see, I am not getting any speed. You can, it's very inconsistent, <clears throat> but what you want to do is time your jumps. So right when you hit the ground, scroll, 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 scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. That was pretty bad, but scroll, 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 scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. So like this. And you can see I'm gaining some pretty insane speeds. Um So you can see me timing. So it's scroll, scroll. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's ABHing, the gist of it. There's really two important things to remember. One, do not continuously scroll, and two, do not hold your W or S key. What you can do, though, is hold your A and D keys without any detriment, um, and this will sort of curve you, depending how good you are, like this. So as you can see, I'm curving by holding my strafe keys. You also want to like move your mouse with the way you're going, or this will happen. Sorry, like this will happen. You will just like sort of move to the left or right, but you won't actually like go anywhere. So like this. It's kind of difficult and not that useful. It's called a curved ABH, but sometimes it can be useful. This is kind of a sharp corner, so it's hard to show. <clears throat> so yeah, you can use your shave keys if you want and have a little better control. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so there's another way of moving fast in this game called <coughs> um, AFH, or Accelerated Forward Hopping. This, is, this can only be done if you have enough speed in the forward direction. Um, so it's only really useful in chambers like 10. It's useful in other chambers, but this is where it's really, really useful. Um, what you want to do is, is usually when you're, like, you're coming out of a fling or something, um, <clears throat> you have enough speed. You want to hold shift and S and then do your 
jumps, time your jumps or whatever. So like this, I'm gonna save here. Go through like that, and I guess I'll just say it again. Um, what you want to do? So I go through, shoot my portal, have enough speed, shift to nest, jump, 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 and then you can see I'm getting insane speeds. And the reason this is so helpful is because I skipped the gap right here. And then I also do it here to get to the elevator quickly, so shoot up there, go through, go back through, shift the nest, jump into the elevator. And that's AFH. These things take practice, you're not going to get them immediately, but if you do things like scroll continuously, you're going to be very bad. Um, there's one more thing called ASHing. This is not really useful in Portal, but it's very useful in Half-Life 2 <coughs> and the other Half-Life 2s, the episodes or whatever. Um, I don't know really a good chamber to show this on. I'm trying to think. I'll show it on 9 maybe, I don't know. Haven't really tried it. So, yeah, 9's not going to be good either. Um, so what we want to do... Instead of turning 180 degrees, you're going to turn 45 degrees to either side. And depending on which side you turn to, uh, determines which keys you hold. Um, one sec. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so if you turn to the right, you want to hold A and S. If you turn to the left, you want to hold S and D. So <clears throat> if you turn to the right, hold the opposite, which is A and S to the left the opposite would be D so that's how you can remember that so you do that and then do your continuous jumps Once again, and you can see I'm gaining the speed and this is like not very helpful in portal because everything's very uh, cramped and there's not much room whereas in Half-Life 2 where there's huge spaces um, you can do this and it's the advantage it has is that you can like see where you're going sort of um, it has its like drawbacks, you don't get as much speed as ABH because you are holding S. But yeah, so you can see my inputs and how I'm doing this. So it's 45 degrees, remember. Um, so that's how you ASH. It's not really useful in Portal, but in uh, Half-Life 2 it definitely is. If you want to learn more about it, I'm sure Gaknak went over it in his Half-Life 2 tutorial. So yeah, that's my semi-long tutorial on ABH. I hope um, people are helped by this and start being good. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully I helped.